Thank you for joining us. Lawyers for Djokovic say that he tested positive for COVID-19 in December. Does, does this change the game at all for Djokovic and his appeal? Uh, I don't think it does necessarily. I mean, it's such a, a difficult legal situation right now and people pointing fingers, as the reports were saying there. Um, the fact is that appears to be how he's tried to get around the rules and get an exemption in order to play the Australian Open and not be vaccinated. But there are big question marks over whether a previous infection of that sort of date should apply. There was a, initially uh, a deadline of December the 10th discussed and put to the players. And so if he's tested positive on the 16th, he wouldn't have made that deadline. That's also been disputed. And then of, in addition, all of the pictures that you've been talking about there that have mm. appeared straight afterwards in the following days, it just complicates matters. And it, and it doesn't play well in Australia right now. All of the the communication, I think that's one of the issues here. When Djokovic initially said, I'm on my way, I've got an exemption, it wound up the Australian public. It, it annoyed a lot of people. Yeah. It annoyed a lot of players. And, and I think that that immediately put everybody to attention. So when he arrived at the border, everybody, they were ready for him. Yeah. And let's talk about the footage that was released showing Djokovic not wearing a mask, and at public events around the time he tested positive with COVID-19. Um, he, in, in this image that's on our screens right now, he's seen with a group of young people unmasked and other people as well. How is all this playing out in the wider tennis world? Well, I think it's it's in keeping really with, with many things we've seen from Novak Djokovic over the course of the pandemic. If we think back to the events that were held in Croatia and Serbia, in 2020, when he held tennis tournaments for, for good causes, he was trying to do good things, but he was doing them with no real regard for the fact that there was a pandemic going on and that there were there were maskless people in the crowds. And then several of the players tested positive for COVID-19, including himself. Um, and I think that, that it goes in line with a feeling that he's just not really in tune with what's going on at the moment. Now, in terms of the, the actual timing, we haven't heard from him, I should say that, about yeah. his positive COVID test. That's what's been put in the, the court reports and, and in his lawyer's case, the 16th of December. And then these pictures have come out subsequently. Did he know he was positive by then or, or had he taken a test and not yet tested positive? We, I don't know that. But yeah. it's not going down well, to be quite honest, no. And do you think Djokovic is aware of the gravity of the situation right now? We know he's in quarantine at a hotel in Melbourne. He is stuck there as he awaits his hearing on Monday. He is in limbo. He's stuck in the room. He can't train. Like, how would you describe his headspace right now? Well, from what I'm hearing, and I can only go on reports I've heard from messages uh, that the journalists from Serbia in particular have been able to communicate to us and, and his family as well, he's... He, he was in shock, I think. When he arrived at the border, he thought he had what he needed. He, he'd been told he had an exemption, and he was turned away, and not only turned away, put in detention. And not a particularly nice uh, place to be, quite honestly. And it's, it's so far from ideal for preparing for a tennis tournament to be in isolation inside a, a hotel room for several days when you're not expecting to, and not knowing what the outcome will be. I, I, from what we hear, he's pretty stressed out about it, and I'm, and I'm not mm. surprised. At the same time, I think many people, particularly in Australia, who have suffered a lot during this pandemic, are saying, well, yeah, if you turn up unvaccinated, when we have 90% vaccination of our population, then, yeah, that's how you deserve to be treated. And I, I think the, the, the playing group, the, the, the tennis players are... are are split to some degree. There's a, most players that I think more than 90% of players are vaccinated now. And mm -hmm. Rafael Nadal said the other day, you can play the Australian Open, but you need to be vaccinated. We all know this. It's just that Novak Djokovic doesn't want to be. And, and that much is he's kind of made clear all along, really. He's, 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 he's guarded his secrecy over his vaccination status. We now know that he hasn't been vaccinated. He thought he'd found a solution to that, um, albeit not a very nice situation to be in, to test positive himself. But he thought that that gave him an exemption. He told he had been. Suddenly he finds himself in this position. It, it can't be pleasant.